Our worship committee took on the task of trying to find a communion set. And we, we looked at, a, at several in catalogs, um, like the couple, and then Laurie came up with the idea of um, there's a potter up in Grantsville at um, Pen Apps. It's an artisan village that maybe we should check out. And we really like the idea of keeping, keeping it in the community, you know, not ordering through cattle. So we took Evie and we went up one day and we loved his work. And his name is Lynn Lass and uh, he's been a potter for over 30 years, has a lot of great stuff in his shop. And so we asked him about making it for us and he was very, very accommodating, just just, it was just a wonderful experience. So he made it for us, and um, we were just really happy. I had asked him to be here today, and when I talked to him on the phone this week, he said between his own church and taking his son to soccer, he has no time. But he was very grateful that, you know, I told him that every, everyone I've talked to really, you know, likes it, enjoys it, and he was glad for that. And so we did send him some pictures so he could put them in his showcase. So I just wanted to let you know, it, it was made here in the community by a local park. And it is in my shop. If y'all get to go to Grantsville, go to the Artisan Village and check everything out. Please join me in the liturgy and the insert in your bulletin. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. My soul longs, indeed it faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh sing for joy to the Lord. Happy are those who live in your house, ever singing your praise. Happy are those whose strength is in you, and whose heart of the high ways is shining. They go from strength to strength. The God of gods will be seen in Zion. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than live in the tents of wickedness. The Lord of hosts. Happy is everyone who trusts in you. Let us pray. God of the universe, the heavens cannot contain your glory, yet you have come to be with us in Jesus Christ, and by the power of the Holy Spirit you are present with us now in the risen Christ. We dedicate these vessels to your honor and glory, we thank you for all the gifts that have come together in this place, the craft and art of gifted hands, the labors of love and commitment. Bless this work, O oh God, that these vessels may extend your grace to many and diverse people, that all who seek you here may know your presence in their lives. By your grace and according to your will, may the gospel of Jesus Christ be truly proclaimed and the sacraments rightly administered, that the body of Christ may be nurtured and fed here and strengthened for Christ's service in the world. Amen. Gracious God, we come to you empty and you invite us to take, to eat, and to drink. May these vessels be used to your glory and your people be filled with your presence. As you be us at the table, Lord, may, may we, your earthly vessels, carry your treasure to the world. Trusting in Jesus Christ, we dedicate these communion vessels in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.